there was an interview mm -hmm. that Tupac did and where he talked about, I believe you being in prison mm -hmm. in relation to the quad studio and it being a setup, who was involved, who was responsible. Mm -hmm. And he said, cause my cousin was locked up with him mm -hmm. and you uh, evidently relayed a message to Tupac mm -hmm. as to who uh, you found out who shot him or who was involved with that. Mm -hmm. Take me through that and give me um, what you told Tupac at that time. Cause you were, you were locked up evidently mm -hmm. and, and tell me how did that all transpire? Yeah. So that's a hell of a story in itself too, man. Uh, so we all came Tupac, Tupac had already, uh, had the rape case. Okay. Right. The rape case, he was having, he was going back and forth to court for that. Right. And he, and he was living in Atlanta at the time. So you were in jail at the time? No. No, you weren't. You were home. Okay. We were home. Okay. We came to New York together. Okay, gotcha. Right? Him and I and the outlaws. And we came to New York because he had to finish shooting the movie uh, Bullet. Okay. And I was my job was to, of course, you know, tag along with him everywhere he went, make sure he didn't get in any trouble. Okay. And all that and all that. And... For the first couple of days that So was it bullet above the rim? Which it was bullet. It was bullet, okay. Yeah, it was it was shot in Brooklyn. Okay, gotcha. All right. Uh, Just Mickey wanted to Ward. make sure, yeah. you know. Yeah. I remember because he kept the patch, you know, he was he wears a patch, his character wears a patch in the movie. That black patch? Yeah. Right, right. And he kept that patch on okay. after shooting, you know, because okay. he stayed in character. Character, okay. And uh so I re that's why I know it was bullet, right? But so for the first couple of days when we arrive in New York, we I'm with him. We go into the to the uh, shoot in Brooklyn, and he's doing his thing. Then one night, I meet some of my old partners because we were staying. Our hotel was in the area where I made all my money, where all my people were at. Okay, it was in that area, right, Midtown New York. And by the way, uh, my background at the time, I was I, I was never a big dope dealing type of dude. Right, never sold a lot of dope, but I was a con man. I played. Three card money. I play top in the ball. Mm -hmm. You know, old heads know what those games are. Right, Sidewalk right. games. I was a short con player. Okay. Right. And in Midtown, in the area where our hotel was, that's where we all are at in that area. It's a tourist area. Okay. Right. So that's where his hotel. So I, while one night he was still shooting, he was in a hotel. I don't remember. Uh, I ran into some of my people out there and I started hanging with them. Long story short, I got arrested. I got I got knocked and I was on parole. And I couldn't get out. Okay. I couldn't get a bail. Right. Because I'm on parole. And two days later, uh, Pac has this studio appointment at Quad. I didn't know about it before I went to, before I got knocked, I didn't know about it. It wasn't nothing that he told me you know, it wasn't planned, right? It wasn't on our, it wasn't on our schedule. It wasn't on our agenda. He was just there to shoot the movie, right? But from what I heard, he did get a phone call. Uh, it was unexpected, so of course it wasn't planned. It was an unexpected situation that occurred. None of us thought that it was going to happen, but it did. It occurred. He got a phone call from Lil Sean, from from what I understand, right? They invited him, you know. It was spontaneous. They invited him to come over and, and lay, a, lay a verse. Right. And, um, but I was in jail when it happened. Now, um, so he goes to the studio and he gets shot, right? So I'm in Rikers Island. I'm in this joint called Beacon, right? Okay. Rikers Island. Beacon is wild. It's like, so Beacon is like a quad. No, Beacon is like a jail. Like Rikers Island got like thirteen or fourteen jails, right? On one big island. So it's like, is it a unit? It's yeah. Like a unit? No, it's a jail. It's a whole different it's jail. It's a whole building. Wow. Okay. Right. Okay. With like two thousand inmates in it. Gotcha. And Rikers Island has like thirteen or fourteen buildings like that. Right. Two or two, two or three thousand inmates in it. Wow. In each one of them. That's why it's the largest jail in the city, in the in the country. It's the second largest jail in the country. Okay. So. I'm in Beacon. I'm in my cell. It's about two o'clock in the morning. There's uh, trustees. We call them house gang. Mm -hmm. But I'll just say trustees so you're familiar with what I'm talking about. And these are guys that 
They keep the the quad clean. <laughs> you know, they serve the food when the food comes. Like house gang, tell the CO turn the radio yeah, on. Right, exactly. <laughs> turn it to change the channel. Yeah, you change know what the I'm channel. Saying? Yeah, I know what that you is. Know what yeah, house gang, right? Okay, right. So house gang is is you know doing their thing. I'm in my cell. I'm not sleep, but I have my headphones, the Walkmans, the Sony Walkmans back then, and I had my my headphones on, and I'm listening to something. I don't know what it was. And, the house gang guy, I'll never forget him. He's banging on my cell. The TV is on, but I'm not watching TV. Yeah. He's banging on my cell. And he's like, yo, 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 your cousin just got shot five times in the head. Oh, Tell wow. Him, just like that. Like, wow. yo, 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 your cousin just got shot five times in the head. Five times in the head. I'm like, what? I, I take my I can hear what he said. I right. heard what he said. Right. And I take my headphones off. I'm like, five times in the head. He's like, right, it's right. on the news. It's on right now. It's on the news. And right. what they, what I see is Biggie and Puffy outside. I see sirens. I see officers. I see a crime scene. Okay. Right? In front of Quad Studio. And I hear the reporter saying Tupac Shakur has just been shot five times. Uh, they don't say five times in the head. They just say five times. Right. Right. So I'm like, damn. I, this is two days after I got arrested. Right. So I'm like, damn. You know, I'm like, wow. They tried to kill him. So I'm, I'm like, you know, I can't really describe how I'm feeling except for, uh, I'm not really there in my, in my, like I'm in jail, dude, right? So I got to deal with jail. You know what I'm saying? I'm in jail. I got to deal with these niggas. They talking about Pac getting shot. I got to check a nigga if he say the wrong shit. You feel me? Like right, I'm right. in that mode. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Like, because you know, people talk, they talk and they, you might hear somebody say he should have, they should have killed them. And then I got to check them, you know, right. or not check them. You know, I right. got to be aware of my safety. You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? So I'm in that type of mindset. Until about a day or so later, I get transferred. I don't know why I get transferred. I'm in the same building, but I get transferred to a different quad. Okay. And I run into an old friend of mine from Brooklyn. We came up together. We came up through Rikers Island together. I, I was born. I was not born, but I was. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I was literally raised on Rikers Island. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? I spent all my teens and my 20s and some of my 30s on right. Rikers Island. Okay. So he was also raised on Rikers Island. Right. He's from Brooklyn. And he knew all the Brooklyn, the, the grimy Brooklyn cats. Right? right. He knew. And we talking about, we see each other and we, hey, what's up, man? Long time, blah, 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 blah. Last time I saw you, blah, 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 blah. Right? And we kicking it. And we talking about some of the old mutual friends, not friends, but associates and partners that we came up with in Brooklyn. Right. And, you know, through Rikers Island. And I asked him about a couple of people. He asked me about a couple of people. And, you know, we said, oh, he's doing okay. One guy became a preacher. Oh, yeah, he became a preacher. And then I asked him about Tut. And he said, oh, Tut. He said, Tut, oh. This, this is King Tut. Yeah. King Tut, okay. Yeah. All right. King Tut. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He was known as King Tut, too. Okay. Yeah. Uh, But we just called him Tut. But yeah, he's like, uh, yeah, Tut, uh, yo, Tut just got out of jail. He just came home. He just shot two detectives. He beat the case. He had a case. He shot two detectives that came into a barber shop in Brooklyn looking for him. Mm -hmm. And this is documented. You can dig this up. Right. That okay. case. Right. And he went to trial on that case and he beat the case. So he's telling me about that case. And I'm like, wow, because I hadn't seen Tut like this is 1991 or 90, 1992. I think this is 92 going into 93. Right. right yeah. And uh, I hadn't seen Tuck since like before I went up north. I went up north in 87. I came home in 90. And then I went back up north and I did the rest of my time. I had six months left on parole. Okay. I had six years. So anyway, I think I seen Tut the last time was like 86. Okay. Right? So he says, yeah, he just came home. And yo, he the one that shot Tupac. Wow. Right? 
He didn't know Tupac was my cousin, the guy that's telling me this. He right. didn't know I was related to Tupac. Okay. He's just saying, yeah, because it was just on the news. He's the one that shot Tupac. And I said, oh, really? And I didn't tell him Tupac was my cousin. I didn't say, yo, that's my cousin. Right. I didn't say nothing. Well. I just let him talk. And he gave me, you know, a little bit of more information about that. And he told me it was tough. Wow. And I knew he knew. You know, because they from the same area. You know, I know he know. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's when I found out who shot him. Okay. And that's when I realized that if I had been with Pac at that time when he went to the studio, if I had been with him, I'd have recognized Tut. He'd have recognized me. I don't think that would have happened. Okay. Okay. Because I know it wouldn't have happened. Right. Because we, we like Tut and I, we, 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 Grew up in Rikers Island too. He right. grew up on Rikers Island. Right. You know, Tut was a well known stick up boy. He was well known. He had a gift. He stuck up his own mom's church. And we knew that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But he had a gift for that. You know what? Mm. You know how I know you're telling the truth? Mm. Because I know somebody that knew Tut mm. that was like his neighbor. Mm. It's a female. Mm. And she told me the same story. Yeah. So he had a gift. He, <laughs> he, he was gifted. Right. And uh, he can fight too, man. He had good hand right, skills, right. and he got money. He was making money, you know. Plus, he did other things like he he boosted, right. he played the shot, you know, these okay. little games. That's pickpocketing, pickpocket. Okay, you know, with with a chick like a chick, he will ride with a chick and she'll play. You know what I'm saying? He'll okay. hold it down or whatever. You know, he was a player, right? But he was also a stick up boy, right? You know what I mean? And I knew him. You know what I'm saying? Just, just not like I never hung out with him or anything right. like that, but just, you know, passing through Rikers Island, we see each other in the child, we see each other in the mess hall, we see each other in the gym or whatever. Right. We kick it, hey, whatever, whatever, what, we keep it moving. Or I see him in the street, we're in traffic, we keep it moving. Yo, what up, what up, what up, we keep it moving. That's mm -hmm. how I knew him. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I know if he'd have saw me, that wouldn't have happened. Okay. You know, my cousin, he wouldn't have did it. Wow, because he would have had to, he would have had to shoot me, right? You know, and right. I don't think he would have shot me, right? Maybe he would have, maybe he would have, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 